What's up guys, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that's a little bit different to the usual, but I'll go ahead and explain it in a second. Opening up Steam, I'll head across to the store page and at the very top we see it is currently the spring cleaning event. What exactly is this? Well, having a look at this over here, dust off your library with Dewey. From May 21st to May 28th, it's already about halfway through, but this guide should still be very useful for you if you haven't even started. Basically, you can get up to three badge levels, as far as I understand, for going ahead and starting up one of three games in six categories. So, down here are the categories. If I click on this first floor over here, I have an option of these three games that are currently in my Steam library. All I need to do is launch up one of them, and I'll suddenly get this room unlocked, and I'll have probably the level one badge. As far as I know, it's level one with one room, level two with two rooms or three rooms, and all the way up to the sixth room, which is the max level badge. Of course, badges are used towards your Steam level, etc, etc, but there is a way to cheese the system without having to download a bunch of big games. If I have a look down here, it's asking me to download Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Just Cause 2, or Bioshock Infinite, all of which are relatively large games, and especially if you want to do this legit, then you're going to have to download quite a few games. At least six, unless of course you already have one of them installed. So let's go ahead and start with this top category over here. I have none of these games installed, and in fact I'll go ahead and show you this, but only for the first category, as going through all of the games will be quite a hassle. So number one, Hacknet. You can see it's uninstalled. Then we have Potato Man, as well as Anomaly. So... As you can see, this one is also not installed. And Anomaly is not installed. In fact, none of these are. Either ways, heading back to this page over here, I'll simply click on the first room, and basically we need to go ahead and click play and download one of these games. Or so you would think. There are two tools that come to mind when I think about launching up a game without actually having it installed. That being Steam Achievement Manager, which is mainly used for giving yourself achievements, or of course taking them away, if you're interested in that, check the description down below. And the second way is by using Steam Idle Master, commonly used for opening up games while not actually needing to have them installed, to go ahead and idle hours. I've heard this can help with CSGO Trust Factor, as well as a bunch of other things just to generally get the hours on your account up. While those are two really niche tools, they will be able to help us out here. So without downloading any of these three games, I'll go ahead and launch one of them up. How exactly would I do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and use Steam Achievement Manager, though you can probably accomplish the same thing with Steam Idle Master. So, linked below is this GitHub page over here, Steam Achievement Manager. As you can see, it's already quite widely used, and it doesn't require us to log in. So, when you get to this page over here, you may be a bit confused where to download it. Don't click Clone or Download. Scroll down to the very bottom and click Download Latest Release. Or, at the very top, click Releases, and look for Latest Release on the left-hand side, as such. Then we'll click the Steam Achievement Manager .zip for the latest version, and it'll go ahead and download. Then I'll open it up, and this is quite important, we need to extract all of these files into a new folder. So I'll go ahead and make one on my desktop right now. Doesn't really matter what you call it, I'll leave it as New Folder 7, and I'll drag and drop these files across, out of the zip, into this folder. Then I'll go ahead and double click on sam.picker, which is the program that lets us pick games that we want to go ahead and launch, quote unquote, to give ourselves achievements. So looking at the screen over here, immediately all of my games pop up, even though I don't have most of them installed and I haven't signed in with my Steam account. Very useful. So from here, I can go ahead and close out of the folder as well as this GitHub page and just focus on Steam over here. Of course, if you have this open in a browser, it's gonna be quite a bit easier. What I'm going to do is look for one of the games here and simply decide on one that I want to launch. So I'm going to go ahead and start up Hacknet. Looking at Steam Achievement Manager, you may think that you can search using this box in the top left, but in fact, this is for adding games by Steam ID. So we're not actually going to use this box up here as it won't help us at all. What we need to do is simply click anywhere on this big box down here, and we're going to go ahead and just type on our keyboard the name of the game. So Hacknet, H-A-C-K. And we're already down here where a bunch of games are named Hack. So Hack Me, Evolution, Hacknet. All I need to do is simply select it and double click. Then if you get this pop up over here, I'll click Run and immediately you'll see that my title over here changed from blue to green and I'm currently quote unquote playing a game. Bringing across my Steam friends list, you can see I'm currently in game in Hacknet. So either way, I'll leave this friends list down here and I'm not gonna actually give myself any achievements. 
I'm simply going to close this window over here. You'll see that I'll suddenly go out of the game in just a moment. There we go. And I'll look back at this page over here. I'll simply hit F5 to refresh the page. And as you can see, this first room has now opened up. And we've got the first level badge over here. If I click on it, it'll take me to this page and we can see my achievements so far. So spring cleaning event 2020, 100 XP, and one of them is achieved. So let's go ahead and do the rest of them. I'll click category two and I'll pick one of these games. I'll go ahead and do limbo. Click anywhere, limbo, double click, run, and you'll see I suddenly go in game, close it, head back to Steam, F5, the second room is now a light. Next up, I'll do all walls, must fall, double click, run, and close. Click back here, F5, done. Next, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, double click, run, and close. F5, next, I'll do say Dota 2, run, close, F5. Next, I'll do Broforce, run, close, F5. And then the final room, I'll pick any game here, double click, run, and close, F5. Now we've unlocked all of these rooms over here. I'll go ahead and move my friends list away. And as you can see, badge is complete. If I click on one of them, it'll open up this page again, and I can have a look at my quest progress. And as you can see, completed all spring cleaning tasks, and I haven't downloaded a single extra game. 500 XP added to my account, everything is complete. If you'd like to find out how to use Steam Achievement Manager or Steam Idol Master, check the description down below for links to those videos. Refresh this page over here. There we go. And of course, once you're done, you can go ahead and delete it if you don't want it anymore. Just before I go, one quick note. If you would like to hide yourself, start up all these games so you don't go ahead and spam your friends with opening up six unique games, giving them that little pop-up, all you need to do is head across to your Steam friends list and enter invisible mode. This way, you'll still be online. You can still receive and send messages but whatever game you start up won't pop up for them. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.